the legendary Irish actor, who famously played Albus Dumbledore in six of the eight Harry Potter films, turns 82 today. Sir Michael Gambon, the celebrated stage and screen star, has been inundated with goodwill as he marks another birthday on Wednesday, October 19. Messages of celebration were sent to the Dublin-born star, among them was the Leaky Cauldron, the name of the fictitious pub in the Harry Potter saga. On its Twitter account, it wrote, Happy 82nd birthday to Michael Gambon. He was brought on to play Professor Dumbledore in the hashtag Harry Potter films starting in Prisoner of Azkaban after the death of Richard Harris. Let's all wish him a calm and cheerful birthday. Sir Michael began his career on the stage, starring alongside some of the most heralded actors of a generation, such as Sir Laurence Olivier, whom he worked with as part of the National Theatre Company at the Old Vic, in London. He soon turned his hand to film, however, again playing alongside Olivier in his screen debut in 1965's Othello, which also starred Dame Maggie Smith. Since then he has become one of the most recognizable faces on the planet as a result of his iconic filmography. Though he is largely well known for the role of Hogwarts headmaster Albus Dumbledore, he also featured in flicks such as The King's Speech, Cranford and Layer Cake. As well as starring opposite the likes of Olivier and Smith. Sir Michael can also call Hollywood megastar Johnny Depp an acquaintance. The pair played alongside one another in the 1999 film Sleepy Hollow, and during filming Sir Michael played a wry prank and the young Depp, Sleepy Hollow was being filmed on the lands of a stately home near Windsor in 1998, and one day the late Queen rode past with her friend Harry Herbert, the 17th Earl of Pembroke. Sir Michael knew the Earl as he was also a film director. During a 2007 QA with future movies. Sir Michael noted that the location was the only place where the Queen can ride her horse from Windsor without going on public roads. He continued, well, the Queen came past one day, and everyone was gobsmacked. She obviously had her entourage, but next to her was a friend of mine called Henry Herbert. As they went past, I'm standing there with all the actors and Henry shouts, hello Mike. So I reply, hello Henry, how are you mate? 